Alright my fighters, so today we are going to talk about reveals and stuff episode 21 and which characters can we see actually during it. But before we start, if you are new here and you want to stay updated with everything new about Dragon Ball Legends, make sure to subscribe my channel and, uh, and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you stay notified with everything new about Dragon Ball Legends and if you enjoy the video make sure to hit that like button. Now without any further ado, let's just get started. So first of all, if we take the background and as a hint, uh, which they didn't actually do for multiple videos now, but if we start first with the with the background as a hint, there are actually three different colors in it. We have actually gray or white, we have orange, and we have actually blue. And when we when we look at these three colors together, there are two main characters that are actually hinted towards. Uh, if we take the background and the first one is actually Gogeta Blue. As you can see when, when Goku and Vegeta actually fuse uh, into Gogeta from the Dragon Ball Super Broly movie, uh, we get actually the orange, the blue and even the white background. Uh, you can say that the background is actually grey, not white, but it's still nearly the exact same color. It's, it's not that huge difference that would make actually uh, a big mistake. Uh, it's not green and white. <laughs> In that case, it would have been a big mistake, but gray and white are actually pretty close to each other. So this is one of the colors or one of the characters. And do I think that they will that they would go with another Gogeta Blue for now? I I would say no, actually, because of the fact that we just got actually Super Gogeta, who is an ultra character, and if they release another Gogeta Blue, it is going to be most likely an ultra character. So releasing double ultra Gogetas after each other in a very, very small period of time between them is actually going to be pretty interesting. <laughs> <laughs> like, don't misunderstand me, I would be happy, you know how much I love actually Gogeta, but why would they do that? Like, seriously, I really can't understand why would, would they release yet another Ultra Gogeta uh, after around 3 months actually of releasing uh, an Ultra Gogeta. And both of them are the first, uh, the first and the second ever summonable ultra character we get in the game. <laughs> like, it's it's just going to be pretty interesting. So we will see, but I doubt they would actually do that. I think they will they will actually save the Ultra Gogeta Blue for the Legends Festival. Uh, during the, the Christmas banner, they are going to release another ultra character that is granted 100%, and I believe that this is going to be actually the time where they release uh, Ultra Gogeta Blue. However, the second character is actually Ultra Inst Mastered Ultra Instinct Goku. And the reason is actually his, uh, his, uh, his pants are actually orange, his shirt is blue, or even these on his hand as well are actually blue, and his hair is actually silver or gray. You could count it silver, gray, even white as well. <laughs> All of them are similar colors to each other, so it's not going to be to be that big a mistake. So. Our ma main two characters, when we look at the background, are actually Gogeta Blue and Master Ultra Instinct Goku, and both of them, in my opinion, are actually going to be Ultra characters. I top, or maybe Master Ultra Instinct Goku might be actually a Legends limited character. I, I don't think they would go with uh, with a with an Ultra Master Ultra Master Ultra Instinct Goku directly without a Legends Limited variant of him. But well, they already did it with Super Gogeta, where they went actually with an Ultra without a Legends Limited variant. So they could do it, but I think that they will go with Master Ultra Instinct Goku as a Legends Limited character first, actually, because he is going to be more hype, and let's be honest, more people will summon for him him if he is actually a legends limited character with a legendary finish uh, with a legendary finish rather than just a normal intro actually that is that that we will 
be bored of, like seriously. Most of the time I don't start with Super Gogeta, Ultra Super Gogeta just because how how bored I am of his intro. But the Legends Limited characters, you never get bored actually of landing that legendary finish. Like seriously, it's just always like an like a reward that you get at the end of the match, and that's why it's always exciting. Unlike the the intro, which you just get it. It, there is no build up for it, there is no work that you do for it and that's why I feel like uh, Legends Limited characters are actually more enjoyable right now. We will see when they are going to release Legends Limited, um, Legends Limited Ultra characters as well because I know they will do it, it's, it's, it's unavoidable. <laughs> <laughs> but I doubt they would do it this year. I think that they will do it next year, not this year. Uh, we might get maybe four or five ultra characters this year who are normal ultra characters, and then they will start actually with the some uh, with the uh, uh, Legends Limited ultra characters. Anyways, back to our uh, to our topic. Uh, I doubt that Masters Ultra Instinct Goku is going to be actually on this uh, celebration. However. As you know, lately they have been actually going out of the way and they have been releasing characters out of nowhere. Nobody expected actually Full Power Jiren to be released in February and they did release him out of nowhere and without any prior, uh, any prior n announcement or notice. <laughs> they just were like... Le take a look at this video and voila it's actually full power Jiren like seriously <laughs> it's just crazy how they release him in this way and they might do anything at this point I wouldn't be surprised if they do anything literally anything at this point so here yeah, basically I am not saying 100% that it's not going actually to be Master Dr. Instinct Goku or Gojita Blue but in my opinion these two guys are actually way too hype to waste on a normal uh, celebration I believe that they are actually either Legends Limited characters or uh, anniversary characters uh, Leg <laughs> Legends Limited <laughs> Legends Festival characters or anniversary characters. I think that these are actually the types of banners and celebrations that uh, these characters are going to be on, not on a normal celebration. But as I said before, they could do literally anything and I wouldn't be surprised. So if we don't take the background as, as a hint, who can be actually the upcoming Legends Limited character or, or Ultra character? When it comes to Ultra character, I believe that Gohan would make the, the most sense actually, although I would be very sad if it is him. <laughs> but I know that many people actually like him, so it will be good for them. Uh, but uh, I think that Gohan has actually the highest chance to come as the upcoming Ultra unless the upcoming ultra isn't going to be in this celebration but during the anniversary at that point i think that uh, Veg super vegeto is going to be actually a much better choice for them other than that if we take a look at the legends limited characters there is actually the golden frieza tag android 17 uh, this one is a very wanted actually character and it would make sense to build up for the tournament of power and after releasing full power Jiren, it would make sense actually to have Golden Frieza tag 17. Uh, that would be actually a phenomenal character. Other than that, maybe Kefla. Uh, she, she is going also to build up actually for the Tournament of Power. And she is going to be a very phenomenal character to be honest. And she is a wanted character as well. Uh, then we have maybe... A standalone Golden Frieza, Angel Golden Frieza, that would be very good as well, uh, especially for the players who like Lineage of Evil. Uh, other than that, I don't see actually many characters. I would have said maybe God of Destruction Topo, but they already released him as a normal uh, sparking character, so I doubt they would actually release him as a Legends Limited character this soon. Uh, I think they will take a sh actually a little bit of time before they do it. Uh, and I don't really see other characters outside of the Tournament of Power getting released right now, but they could do literally anything, like seriously. But 
For me, I don't see actually any other characters that are worthy of this celebration unless they are extremely worthy and they aren't actually going to be on this celebration. For example, Goichita Blue and Master Delta Instinct Goku. They already released even full power Jiren, like seriously. And Super Saiyan Blue Evolution Vegeta is also released. Like, I just don't know what they could do unless, unless... They actually celebrate the Saiyan day, which they normally don't, uh, and they would actually release at that rate something from the Saiyan Saga maybe? That would make sense, and uh, it would be something new actually, it would be pretty nice as well, or they could maybe release double Saiyan characters as a celebration of the Saiyan Saga, Maybe giving uh, people actually the uh, Super Saiyan 3 Dragon Fist Goku already. <laughs> because people are dying to get him actually and they just don't want to release him for some reason. So maybe they could actually do that. Maybe give us uh, a Legends Limited character from... I don't know, from the Saiyan Saga, from the Frieza Saga. They could do actually multiple stuff or they could maybe give us the Legends Limited uh, cooler already because that is another wanted character that they just don't want to release so yeah basically we will see what they will do but until then let me know your opinion about who is coming actually during reveals and stuff episode tw 21 in the comments section below and yeah basically with that being said that was everything for today I hope that you enjoyed the video and if you did please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends so that they can enjoy it too and if you got any useful information from this video or if you enjoyed it make sure to subscribe my channel and turn on the notification bell beside it so that you stay notified with everything new about dragon ball legends and with that being said see you as always in the next video of dragon ball legends